Welcome to our presentation. Our title is Perceived Stress, Self-Control, and Subjective Well-Being as Predictors in Predicting Social Media Addiction During the COVID-19 Pandemic in Malaysia. I am the presenter, Pung Pit Wan. This presentation will start with Introduction and Literature Review, followed by Methodology, Findings and Discussion, and Conclusion. According to Malaysian statistic results from 2016 to 2021, people spend more and more time in social media and eventually addicted to it, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. The purpose of this study is to examine the predictive roles of perceived stress, self-control, and subjective well-being on social media addiction among young adults during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia. There were 148 respondents participated in this survey. There were 62 males and 90 females who are within the age of 18 to 30. The results show that self-control and subjective well-being significantly predicted social media addiction, while the perceived stress did not significantly predict the social media addiction. This study proved that self-control and subjective well-being are the factors to predict social media addiction. The findings are beneficial in developing an intervention or program to minimize social media addiction. During the COVID-19 pandemic, most of the people prefer staying at home instead of going out. According to Malaysian statistical results, 73% and 78% of Malaysians are active users on social media in 2017 and 2019 respectively. This also indicated that the active users of social media had increased 5% within two years. However, in 2020, the number of active users on social media in Malaysia was 81% and in 2021, the number of active users on social media in Malaysia has been increasing to 86% during the COVID-19 pandemic. Social media is a platform that covers many types of media that allow people to search or look for the latest information and also to socialize. By accessing social media, society was able to connect themselves to the latest news. However, even though social media brought many advantages and convenience to the society, it also led an individual to have excessive use of it, which caused social media addiction. Social media addiction can be referred as a failure to control the usage of social media. As consequences for social media addiction, people can be distracted and drop in their productivity and they will be always experiencing fatigue and stress. Social media addiction has a negative correlation with life satisfaction as well as self-esteem. Self-control has played an important role in predicting social media addiction as Self-control is able to regulate a person's level of social media use. Self-controlling strategies are used to prevent social media addiction and high traits of self-controlling are better in avoiding social media addiction symptoms. This study hypothesized that self-control is negatively associated with social media addiction among young adults during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia. The COVID-19 pandemic is increasing the stress of Malaysians. According to Zhao 2021, stress is one of the factors which cause the problematic social media use. In the research of Webster 2020, it explained that people who often facing daily stress had spend more time in using social media because social media network 
can increase a person's well-being. In the study of Zhao 2021, subjective well-being has significant association with social media use. Individuals who have low well-being would like to engage in using social media to improve their well-being. There are three research questions in this study. The first research question is, can perceived stress predict social media addiction during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia? The second research question is, can self-control predict social media addiction during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia? And the last research question is, can subjective well-being predict social media addiction during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia? Now we go to methodology. This study utilized a cross-sectional and quantitative research design. A total of 448 young adults were recruited in this study. Among the 148 respondents, there were 41% of males and 59% of females. The age range of the respondents were range from 18 to 30. To obtain a sample science, application of G power was used to compute the result, and the results show a sample of 148 participants was required in this study. Perceived stress scale, brief self control scale, personal well being score, and burden social media addiction scale is used in this study to measure perceived stress, self-control, subjective well-being, and social media addiction. Perceived stress scale is used to measure an individual perception of stress, and it consists of 10 items. The perceived stress can be obtained by summing up the score for each item. The scores ranging from 0 to 13 can be indicated as low stress, the score ranging from 14 to 26 can be indicated as moderate stress and the score ranging from 27 to 40 can be indicated as high perceived stress. For the brief self-control scale is used to measure individual differences in self-control. And this scale consists of 13 items. The highest score indicated a higher level of self-control. For the personal well-being score, it's used to measure a person's of subjective well-being. And this score consisted of four items. The higher the score indicated, the more personal well-being. For the Bergen Social Media Addiction Scale, it's used to measure an individual risk of social media addiction on the internet. Higher score indicated higher addiction. From the reliability test, we found that perceived stress scale, brief self-control scale, personal well-being score, and burden social media addiction scale were reliable. Multiple linear regression was used to test if perceived stress, self-control, and subjective well-being significantly predict social media addiction among young adults during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia. As shown in the Table 1, the model was statistically significant and accounted for 30.8% of variance. In this Table 2, it showed that perceived stress did not significantly predict social media addiction. In contrast, self-control and subjective well-being were the significant predictors of social media addiction. The results show that perceived stress was not a significant predictor of social media addiction. This could be explained by the alternative options 
to reduce stress in Malaysia during the COVID-19 pandemic. Unstructured leisure activities among individuals had increased during the pandemic. The unstructured leisure activities such as cooking, reading, physical exercising are more often carried out during the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown instead of surfing the internet or social media. In the study of Hirschman, it stated that instead of spending time on social media, the statistic of men leisure activities among Malaysians during the COVID-19 pandemic showed that 40% of the Malaysians spend their time exercising during the COVID-19 pandemic. 38% of the Malaysians spend their time playing video or online games. 37% of the Malaysians spend their time reading books or magazines. 24% of the Malaysians spend their time doing gardening. And 19 of the Malaysians spend their time playing board games or offline games. By having the leisure activities, individuals will have better mood lower heart rate, better psychological well-being, which could result a person's stress level to become lower. The result indicated that self-control is a significant predictor of social media addiction. As social media has the function to remove boredom, it will lower one's self-control ability that wanted to seek short-term pleasure and it causes excessive using social media. This shows consistent results with two 2018. Self-control has significantly predicted social media addiction. In Saga 2021, the younger adult who is addicted to social media are the one who has lower self-control ability. The results also show that subjective well-being predicted social media addiction. These findings is consistent with the past studies. This can be explained by the social media addicts who have a low level of subjective well-being believe that surfing social media will be able to let them relieve negative emotion and feeling in the short term and to recover their subjective well-being. In conclusion, the current study revealed that subjective well-being and self-control were significantly linked to the social media addiction among young adults during the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia. Through the finding of this study, it is expected that the researcher in Malaysia to discover how self-control and subjective well-being affect social media addiction. Thank you.